Satellite data represents the biggest contribution to forecast accuracy and satellite imagery like this is used by meteorologists around the world to assess developing weather. Essentially, they provide a snapshot of air patterns and weather systems moving around the world, helping us to see developing systems and, crucially, incorporate that into our forecasts. The ability to produce satellite images like these depends upon collaboration between scientists and engineers in different space agencies and national Met services. The Met Office is one of 30 members of UMETSAT, which is the European Satellite Agency for Monitoring Weather, Climate and the environment from space. The next generation of satellite imagery is about to begin with the launch of a new imaging satellite, Meteosat Third Generation Imager 1 or MTG 1. This satellite will provide more frequent images at an increased level of detail, helping all UMETSAT members improve forecast accuracy, especially for short range weather forecasting. On the ground, this could mean enhanced capabilities for forecasting extreme weather, for example, when there is lots of heavy isolated rainfall. These images will mean that we can forecast with even more precision exactly when and where these will be. Launching from French Guiana, this is the first satellite in a series of six launches that will revolutionise and safeguard weather forecasting for the next 20 years. The satellite will take images of the Earth in visible and infrared wavelengths, which will give us lots of information about clouds, the atmosphere and the Earth's surface. One image type that we can produce will appear much like what someone would see if they looked out the window of the International Space Station. Instead of images every 15 minutes, as we have with existing satellites, we'll get access to imagery every 10 minutes, significantly improving our short-range forecasting in times of severe weather. The images will also be of a higher resolution, providing a more detailed picture of the weather systems below. In addition, this satellite will include the first lightning imager to be focused on Europe, making it easier for meteorologists to track storms and developing convective systems. The satellite is due to launch in the middle of December, but it will have a rigorous series of checks and quality control measures to undertake before it's used in services. At the Met Office, we'll be part of a small group using the early data, which will be available once the satellite gets into position, 36,000 kilometres above the Earth. We'll be helping to verify its performance and feeding back to UMETSAT as part of its quality assurance process. And this won't be the last you hear about satellite launches for the next generation of weather and climate monitoring. UMETSAT, in partnership with the European Space Agency, will be launching a further five geostationary satellites in the coming years, all helping to develop an improved knowledge base on the state of the atmosphere over Earth. These will include further imaging satellites, like the one launching in December, but also sounder satellites that profile the atmosphere, measuring temperature and humidity at different heights. This first satellite launch is really exciting. And it's only the beginning. The next generation imagery obtained by the first satellite will not only help weather forecasters, but will also aid long-term climate monitoring as we will be able to access with even more clarity information about the current state of the global climate.